Hello there, and welcome back to another episode of Creating Heads in Fusion 360. I hope you're well. Let's begin. Last episode, as you might remember, we turned off our symmetry and entered the world of asymmetry. As previously explained, the intention was to bring more detail to the model, but as previously countered, I was too eager. So, this episode is going to be showing you how you can model without symmetry, and how you can shape the features from multiple canvases, something we haven't done much of so far. Not the easiest task. You need to begin to see the features through the canvas from the side, and adjust your model to match. If you weren't already aware, you can alter the opacity of your surface via right-clicking the body feature in the side menu and choosing opacity controls. Despite being able to see the canvas through the surface, the standard opacity for the surface is set to 100%. This can be adjusted to make it easier to, to see the canvas through. However, if the opacity is anything under 100%, you will be able to see and edit vertices on both sides of the model. Hence why I keep my opacity at opaque. Additionally, you can change your visual style in the display settings drop down menu at the bottom of the screen if you wanted to try a different look. This is just a setup I've always adopted and it feels unnecessary to change it now. Notice how I am toggling the body view on and off to see the canvas more clearly. It seems like a sensible way to make sure you are correctly editing your model. However, I find that sometimes when you toggle the body view from show to hide and back to show again, it can undo the work you are doing. It's such a difficult thing to notice, especially when you are making such minute adjustments, but to test you are not experiencing this glitch, move a vertex considerably and then toggle the show hide tool. Hopefully it shouldn't revert back to its previous position. I think it's just an occasional glitch or perhaps my mind playing tricks on me, but just test it. If it does turn out you're experiencing the same problem, there is a workaround. It's more time consuming. You need to click OK on the edit form toolbar after making changes. Not to be confused with the finish form uh, tick. So then you would toggle the visibility as much as you want before modifying the form again, making sure to save your work regularly. Um, I hope that makes sense. So. As you can see, I'm flashing the surface on and off. And I'd always done that for, or, or, what was it now, four four heads I've done, four or five. Um, and I'd never noticed the, the changes, but um, later on when I'm, when I'm modeling uh, this face, I noticed that I'd done a lot of work, but it wasn't showing sort of much results to it it wasn't fruiting much results like I felt like I was changing a lot and it actually wasn't and I sort of found out that when I was flashing the show hide tool um, it was undoing some of the things I'd done so it, it's probably just a glitch and I, I should contact Fusion about it but um, like I said there is a workaround anyway so here I am just looking straight on at the model for the most part, after you've sort of set your um, your features up, you tend to you'll still model when you're making sort of changes. You tend to look straight on while you do it, but if you want to make so if you want some actual reference to see how well the model's going, you look at it sort of an angle like this, a three D point of view. Um, and the reason why you do that is you rarely look at a face completely straight on you always see it on some sort of angle you know unless you're sat opposite somebody at a table um or you're you know talking really close to them if you're in a group of people you're just walking together or you're, you're sat next to each other you you would see them in a different angle than straight on or side on as well you rarely look at the side of somebody's face because if you're like talking to them then they're probably craning their neck towards you so looking at uh, the image from a 3d perspective is really helpful and it really you know is important to sort of understand how the features change um, and how they affect the model so notice how sometimes i rotate the model as well just to be able to click the lines i want um, that's something that 
I don't know, you 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 don't have to do, but I find it so much easier to just roll around. I know some people have um what are they called? Cad mouses. Um so CAD mouses just are, are sort of an orbital tool, uh, a hand tool, like a mouse, but sort of like a joystick as well. Um, and so you can sort of rotate the model, apparently much easier, but I've always got used to just holding the middle mouse button to rotate for me. Um, and it sort of operates in the same way. So I'm not too concerned by it. Notice how I'm not like focusing completely on the right side or the left side. I'm doing a bit of both. You sort of have to do that as you go along. I think it would be really difficult if you tried to complete one side and then match the other to it. Um, I do find that you, I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I tend to try and do the, the right hand side. So this, well, I guess that would be the right hand side, but this, this side, um, their left, my right. I tend to do this side a bit more like if I make a change, I'll make it on this side and then I swap over to the other side. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's all down to personal preference. And also it's important to look at the, 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 the model from a 3D perspective as well, because your photographs, unless they're aligned like completely straight on and with a really sort of long lens, um, it's very difficult to get them like bang on so if you model to match the images perfectly it won't end up looking right so you've got to you have to sort of use your brain and use a bit of vision you know but yeah anyway that's about it for this video i hope you've enjoyed it um sorry for missing out on the video last week if you get the time, check out my site, Joyce3D, and thanks for watching. Bye.